of understanding. We got to follow his word, period. There's no other way. You can't just can't get sent up here telling me. I don't know about y'all, but the Holy Ghost just told me to tell you this. No, but you got to have some, some comfort. You got to confirm some scripture before I believe that. That's why we read so much in here. I don't want y'all thinking I said it. Let's, get, let's keep going. Let's go to Romans chapter 5 and verse 6. Jesus is the only way. And people are all like that. Man, y'all talking so much about the law. Y'all don't talk about Jesus. Believe me, brother. We understand Jesus more than you understand. If we understand what he did for us. We keep the Passover. We don't keep Easter. A star table. This paganized goddess of fertility. Coming inside a church and having orgies inside of a church. Do your history. Mm. Understand where this stuff comes from. Don't be celebrating this stuff and you don't understand what it is. Read Easter, the celebration out of the Bible, brother. I can read Passover. But would a preacher say, well, you know, the Holy Ghost told me, you should, you can, that's another word for Easter, Passover. And you can't even tell, you can't even show me anything about it. Jesus ain't, Jesus wasn't resurrected on the first day of the week. He died in the middle of the week. He didn't die on a good Friday. That's another lie they tell you. How you gonna die a good, you die a good Friday in the evening and you resurrect early Sunday morning? He said, Son of Man gonna be in the earth, be in the earth how many days? Three days and three nights. So you can die Friday evening and you resurrect up Sunday morning. How many days and that is? Maybe a day and two nights, if that. It don't match up. It don't. Hmm. They're worshiping another Jesus. Paul told you about that other Jesus. Romans chapter 5, verse 6. We need Jesus, bro. Believe that, sister. We need him. Bad. Go ahead. For when we were yet without strength, in due time Christ died for the ungodly. If it weren't for Christ dying for the ungodly, we didn't have a way out of this escape of death. We had to have him die. We didn't have no escape. Go ahead, bro. For scarcely for a righteous man will one die, mm -hmm. yet preadventure for a good man, some would even dare to die. Go ahead. But God commanded his love toward us in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Mm -hmm. He was the scapegoat. He the scapegoat. He died for us, so we won't have to die. That's why we remember the Day of Atonement. Day of Atonement is the time when He atoned for our sin with the Father. When we came back in the right hand of the Father, He was our advocate. He was there for us. Without Him being our advocate, we were lost. Mm. Go ahead. Much more than being not justified by His blood, yes, sir. we shall be saved from wrath through Him. Justified by the blood. But we take the pass over the bread and wine. The wine <laughs> represents blood. We understand, Jesus, what you did for us, and we remember this day. But these people don't remember at all. Oh, y'all talking about communion? <laughs> Man, what is that? Go ahead. For if, when we were enemies, we were reconciled to God by the death of his son, mm. but much more being reconciled. We shall be saved by his life. See, we was enemies at one time. Enemies. Because if you're not following what God said, and by his son, you're an enemy. Either you're a friend or you're an enemy. There's no in-between. No in-between. Go ahead. And not only so, but we also join God through our Lord Jesus Christ, by whom we have now received the atonement. Mm. We receive the atonement. He recovered us from that, that death sentence that Adam and Eve did in the garden. All the way back from that time, he recovered us. He had to go find, he couldn't find a man to stand in the gap, so he had to get off the throne and come and die for us. Wow. He loved us, bro. He loved us. Still is. Still is. But we're going to end off that. And I want y'all to make sure you understand this. All these scriptures that we went over, go ahead and make sure you understand. Get in the book. Don't just close the Bible for this Saturday. Open it back up the next Saturday. Read it there. Read it.
you today. We're going to stand and 